Hey guys, we're here at Amanda's restaurant in Hoboken. I'm with Chris Manzo and he's about to answer 21 questions. Oh man. Are you ready? No. <laughs> First one, what is your favorite book? Uh, tough question. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter times a million. Oh, it you're was, a Harry Potter fan. Like beyond. Okay. It's just it was just no pun intended it was like the most magical thing i've like ever read <laughs> it was just brilliant and like awesome but besides that just mm -hmm. to give a less obvious answer um i read a book called the happiest people in the world okay um brock something i forgot his last name and it was just about it was just crazy it was like it was in that's the only adult one. i have plenty of kids ones that i love but mm -hmm. uh, it was called the happiest people in the world and it was about like this whole thing about like a Pub, uh, an illustrator from like Sweden that got like chased out by like terrorists because he did like a like a Muhammad oh, wow. cartoon kind of okay, thing. Okay, yeah. And um, had to move to America and like it was just very Pulp Fiction-y. Mm -hmm. You know, like all kind of came together in the end. And, yeah. But the dialogue, the way it was written was like, I highlight um, I highlight things that I like when oh, I read. Oh, okay. Just whether it's a phrase or whatever. And the yeah. whole book is just like highlights. polluted and different oh, highlights and, and notes and it was awesome. I'll check that one out. Really, really. I've never yeah. heard of it. Happiest people in the world, it's called. Great. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm both. Both. I'm Your both. Aunt Jacqueline said the same exact yeah, thing. I um I'm not a I don't shoot out of bed at like six or seven in the morning. Okay. Um once I get myself in a routine, like usually because I don't really have to be anywhere on every single day, which is great. That's amazing. But um usually I'm up at like nine and I'm just which is I know is late, but I just walk. Like I just like being Yeah out and about and walking around and then I just don't sleep. I'm up till like one, two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Sitting sometimes just staring at nothing. <laughs> I'm a creep. No. Best place to grab a drink in Jersey. What's your go-to bar? There's so many. There's so I know many. it's hard. And I'm in like the mecca of yeah. small bars. In Hoboken. Um, Favorite place to grab a drink in Hoboken, um, in New Jersey, it would be somewhere in Hoboken probably. Mm -hmm. uh, um, see here, you're talking my language now, so there's so many different things. It depends uh. on what you're in the mood for. I like, this could be a long, long thought process for me. That's all right. How about let's start a good sports bar? Yeah, like any like categories yeah. like that. Good sports bar. I like small. Okay. Um, but my buddy actually owns Blue Ale House in... Uh, in Riverdale. Riverdale. I've been there, so yeah. I love going there for That's like fights, like, okay. um, like boxing and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, but besides that, I also like, um, just because it's near the Brownstone, we always used to go. I have like a lot of memories there. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy G's. Oh, um, okay. And then Hoboken, like, you know. There's a million. There's a, yeah, just close your eyes and go like this. And go <laughs> but, uh, and then as far as other places go, like nicer kind mm -hmm. of spots. But, you know, I, I do like coming here. Um, I like, I know I'm forgetting like major ones that I'm just not thinking right now. Uh, I like Tent and Willow a lot. I've never been. Awesome. Really fun Okay. Spot. I'll check it um, out. It's just, it's very Hoboken, like not, so I hate this term, but like bridge and tunnel -y. Like on Fridays <laughs> and Saturdays, Washington Street is just covered. Yeah. Where Tenth and Willow is like, it's not quiet by any means, but it's fun and it's like good. It's more local. No like fights and stupid stuff. Okay. It's just I like spot. that. Yeah. I'll check that one out. You should. So when you're out at a bar, what is your drink of choice? Depends on the bar. <sighs> All right. Favorite beer? Uh, anything like, not a huge beer okay, guy. Okay. I like a dirty martini. Okay. I like wine. Wine, look, red or white? Red. Red. White wine gives me a bad headache. Red gives me headaches. I can only that. drink white. Interesting. Okay. So red wine. Red wine. <laughs> if you could meet anyone living or dead, who would it be? I've thought about this like a thousand times. And I, again, it kind of depends on the mood. Okay. Uh, anyone living or dead. It's Sorry, tough. I'm so bad It's at a this. tough one. Um, I would probably go with the obvious answer is like a Sinatra type or something mm -hmm. like that. But I feel like we'd have nothing to talk about. It'd be like if you think about it, like we would have nothing to discuss yeah. really. Um, so I'm gonna go with. You wanna know something? If they're gonna be really upfront and honest with me, any president. Oh. Okay. Like anyone, any more recent president. Like okay. if I could talk to like, it might even be W. Because wow. like 9-11, the war, there's so much around Learn, them. yeah. I, but if he only, if they're going to tell me the truth. Like okay. Only if they, when I ask him a question, they got to tell me the truth. Got to be honest with yeah. you. So any president, it could be Obama, W, Clinton. I met Bill Clinton once at a restaurant. You did? I did. What restaurant? In New Jersey? No, Fresco's in the city. Oh, okay. Um, I think it was Fresco's. It was actually my high school graduation. Oh I my skipped God. project graduation because I was like, 
I'm done with you people, I'm out. <laughs> and they were like, oh no, it's mandatory. I was like, what are you gonna do? Oh my God. So I left and I was like, I'll skip if we can go to a really nice dinner in the city. That's okay. my favorite thing is going to like a nice, nice dinner. Mm -hmm. Last night we did it for my birthday, it was great. Ooh. Um, Del Posto. We're gonna that. have to go, Del Posto awesome. in the city? Probably my favorite restaurant. I've never been. I mean, Italian, I assume? Yeah, very, okay. very, oh, very sorry. nice, but expensive as shit. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the worst now. So we met Bill Clinton there, but obviously I didn't sit him down and like ask him questions, but. That's amazing. Yeah, That's so any president. Even so, do you either have to be like one of the first ones or like one of the more recent? You'll ones? take anybody. Any not person. anybody. Oh, like oh, if like oh. McKinley comes out, I'm gonna no. be like, what's this about? <laughs> but like if I could talk to like Roosevelt, a big one, or a Kennedy, Lincoln. Lincoln. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Good answer. Like I would like to tell Kennedy about how all people talk about him now, because I bet you he doesn't know. Like that right. he's like cool. Like he the people no like idea. him is like cool because he yeah. got he got shot. Got shot. <laughs> place to grab a slice of pizza in the state? You're going to get really annoyed with me because I need to answer my questions in different, like in like categories. Okay, it's fine. Pizza is very, a very broad <laughs> subject to me and it's very important. To okay, me. You're, you're a pizza lover. So there's like three types of pizza in my opinion. Okay, let's there's like hear a thin it. crust <laughs> where uh, Nelly's in Waldwick is my favorite. I've never been. I know everyone's going to say Star Tavern. They're going to say. I love Star Tavern. They're going to say uh -huh. Nelly's is the best one. Okay. And I'm not hearing anything else. Um, <laughs> The seals over here, uh, right by the pass station. Okay. It's like a traditional triangle New York slice. Mm hmm Banging. So, so good. We're going it's afterwards. It's so good. We're it's like a little going. stand. It's not like a restaurant. Okay. Really, really good. Awesome. Benny Cazino's right here is good too, but like, it's like this big. Not too a, big. I'm not a gimmicky guy. Just okay. give me what I ask for. Okay, you know? I like that. I yeah. respect that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try these two The seals, you like hold it and it's like, it just stands there. It's perfect. Really? And then there's like a... Like the square, like the grandma pie type of thing. Like I'm Sicilian. a big grandma. They're kind of. I love the grandma I'm indifferent. Slice. Like they're all kind of the same to me, unless you go to. Then you got to go to New York. For a grandma. Yeah, like got to go to like Rose. You are right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. What is your go-to pizza topping? Pepperoni. Solid answer. Pepperoni. If you go to Grimaldi's, right? I you could talk to me about food all day long. <laughs> if you go to Grimaldi's right I love here, to it's eat, good. So it's, it's very good. But their pepperoni is like, you know when it's like curved up because it's like so crispy and good. Uh -huh. It's awesome. I'm trying it. So good. Now I know the next uh, answer to this one. What's your favorite TV show? You don't know the answer to that one. Really? It's not yeah. Game of Thrones. No. What is it? I love Game of Thrones, but not it's, your that's favorite? my brother. He loves it. Okay. Is that Living or Dead too? Can I pick Breaking Bad on that one? You're allowed to, yes. Um, I like Breaking Bad, but I also like um, Arrow. I've never even heard of it. Is I'm a terrible? big superhero guy. I'm a big big superhero guy. Okay. No, it's huge. Really popular show. How do I not know this? It's Arrow. I, I shouldn't say I like it that much because I'm not even watching the fourth season but or fifth season, whatever it's on. Uh -huh. But I like Arrow. I like Game of Thrones. Um, I like John Oliver. I've never seen that. You know, watch um, Last Week Tonight? No. We're not really, we don't go Chris, to the same places, we don't really watch the not. same things. We're not vibing. No. <laughs> but Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, we got. I'm with you on we'll that. On Game of that. Thrones, perfect. What about favorite movie? Oh, it's impossible. How about the most recent movie you've seen? Jungle Book. Oh, okay, that's and cute. I also love watching um, like old movies. Like old the old, like the, the old, 20s, old Batman 30s. and like um, like the old um, like Sean Connery, James Bond. Oh, okay. I like seeing um, like what they thought technology was like crazy back then. <laughs> so like like James Bond will be in his car and like if you press this button, as long as you're within 150 yards, you can see where he is. I'm like that like they limited <laughs> like imagination on that. Yeah. But um, I like recently I like Jungle Book, but like classics that I'll always watch like Departed. Um, Goodfellas, Godfather, all the, the obvious. Typical, yeah. typical guy movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and Tombstone. Love Tombstone. Oh, Tombstone. One okay. Of ever. Great. This is kind of tough. Your favorite sibling, Albie or Lauren? It depends on the day again. <laughs> uh, I I am very lucky. I get along probably as well with Al as I do with Lauren. That's great. They they'll both say that I'm their favorite sibling. I'm not even just saying that. Like I talk to both of them all yeah. day long, every day. Um, I just, I hang out with them both in different ways. I'm with Al all the time. Um, we live just a few blocks away from each other and okay. you know, we're always hanging out. We also work together on a lot of different things, yeah. little projects and stuff. So we're always, always talking where Lauren is like, kind of my escape. I'll go with Lauren, we'll go out and drink yeah. and whatever and 
go get, she's like my get crazy sibling. Oh, and Al's fun. My Serious, yeah. working so they, sibling. They're okay. my good and bad. They're, That's they're my, so cute. They're my devil and angel on my shoulders. So I, I, love I it. I'm very lucky. I really get along with them both. Oh, that's great. What's the last book you read? I just finished a book called uh, The Night the Rich Men Burned. Really good book. Okay. It ended weird, but it was um, very chronologically like strange. Yeah. And you're like you know in the books that like do you read on um, the girl on the train? No. You read the girl on the train? No. I didn't like it, but it's the same kind of thing. They chronicle like people. Okay. And then they so they'll talk about the person, and like it'll kind of allude to other things uh -huh. like that you read in the one before it. But it'll act like, the narrator will act like they never talked to you about the person before it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was written really cool. But it's about, like, a, they're in, like, Glasgow, Scotland, or Iceland, or whatever the hell that is. And um, it's like they're in the debt collection business. All people that are, like, oh. young, really old. But, okay. And it, it's really, really cool. Check that one out. It sounds, good. It sounds good. And weird. But really quick, easy to read. read okay. Three days. Who's the last person you texted? My friend John. Okay. I actually told him to come here. To, to hang out? Lunch. If you want to get lunch oh, after. Oh, that's nice. Well, oh, you responded. Let's see what he said. Maybe you guys will meet John. Let's see what John said. I'd love to meet him. No. No. Oh, a solid <laughs> no. John, what the heck? Well, like, why Funny. text me and ask what I'm doing? And then like, say oh, no. I want to get lunch. He's like, no. I'm just seeing I what you're I hate when to. people do that. Mm. So annoying. If you know John, sorry. <laughs> he just like wants to see what's up. and what. Okay. He's, like, he's one of those. I mean, he's one of those people with jobs. You know? He's Those busy. job people. Uh, who care about we work. We hate them. <laughs> So this one's for the ladies, Chris. Are you single or taken? I'm gonna give you a no comment <laughs> because it's it's like it's like a neither and both answer. Okay, no comment. Yeah, we're all just right. gonna we're just gonna say. We'll no leave it to at that. that. No yeah. comment. All right, all right. Who is your favorite person to follow on Instagram? Um, there's two. Okay. One is uh, my buddy Adam. Actually, I, a little break made me think of that. He's a really good drawer. Uh, his name's Adam oh. Padilla, if you want to follow him. Totally. He's a really, really good artist. He does, like, he's crazy, so talented, and he's, like, got a great creative mind, too, so he'll draw, so he'll, like, come up with a good quote and then draw, like, around it. Wow. And, um, or, like, his little daughter, he has an infant daughter who just took a crayon on a paper mm -hmm. and just scribbled, and he turned it into, like, this beautiful, like, woodsy picture. So he's wow. really, really talented. He's fun. And then, um... Uh, the state of Montana. Interesting. They do a lot. Why of, it's Montana? A, apparently, it's a beautiful state, and they just post all kinds of great, like mountains and wow. trees and bison. And, and then I follow, like when Nat Geo posts something, and they say like the name of the artist. You'll I'll follow just, them. I'll follow the photographer, yeah. and they do really cool Seems stuff. Too. Nature. I do. I never did, but I do now. Love it. Yeah. Montana. I'm gonna follow them. Montana. I think it's visit <laughs> Montana is the name. Perfect. Of it. It's awesome. What's your go-to Jersey restaurants? I know this is so oh, hard. Oh, it's impossible. I know. What about your favorite Italian I'll restaurant? I'll give you like a few. Okay. Um, Hoboken, I have like five in, in itself. Okay. Uh, when I'm back home, I like Botagra. Okay. Um, I like Botagra. I like, um, then I'll, I may as well move it back up here then. I like Augustino's. Obviously, I'm going very Italian right now. Court Street. Okay. Um, really cool spot. Uh, that's not me that smell. They're probably I think they're doing an egg thing. <laughs> it does smell awful. Um, I didn't think it was you. I think it's like a hard boiled egg thing, but um, I like uh, what did I say? Court Street. I like Augustino's. I like Botagra. Okay. There's a few more here. I like Bin 14. Um, Jersey City. I went to oh the Steakhouse. Um, Edwards. Oh, okay. It's really good. Never been. Jersey City. Okay. It's really good. I love all the options. I'll have to try them. I can talk about it all day. So I whenever you need a suggestion. Favorite New Jersey housewife? I, I, can I say my mom? Of course. My Hello. Mom. You better say your mom. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be mad if you my don't. Mom, but I'm she's sure. not, technically not a housewife anymore. That's, well, how about the from the current ladies? Well, I mean, it would, it would be Jacqueline, just okay. for the family. But the newer ones... Um, Dolores Catania mm -hmm. is one of, and I love Dolores. I love her family. I love Dolores. She's all, we've been friends with her for, I wish she was on when we were on because like we were. Oh, you've known her for a while. I've known her for like 20 years probably. Oh, so she's a good family friend of yours. I mean, she's known me since I was a baby, but oh I've known gosh. her as wow. a, like I, her son to me is like a little brother to me. We're Aww. so, so tight. And he's like a freak of nature now. He's like the most <laughs> good looking, ripped kid. Oh even. yeah? Last night people were sending me pictures of him and they're like, this isn't human, whatever this kid is. <laughs> But 
the nicest kid. His, her daughter is gorgeous and like yeah. the sweetest person in the world. So I, I'm rooting for them. I hope they do really well. I'm nervous Ooh. for them because I know how awful that world can be. But, <laughs> but they're really good people. I'm excited for That's them. That's good to hear. Yeah. What's your favorite beach to go to at the Jersey Shore? I'm not a beach person. You're not, I actually, I'm not either. <laughs> um, so I like, I like being down the shore. I go down there. Last year we went for a full month. We get a house and rent oh, a house. Nice. We just rent houses in different little areas. Okay. Um, but I'm an action person. Like I like just being on the bay. I'll sit on the deck and, and read and hang out all day. I don't really go to the beach. Not a beach person. Sticky. I'm with Sticky you. Sticky and sandy. You get hot, sandy. Somehow sand just gets in everything. I turn bright I just, red. I just like little neighborhoods and areas. Okay, I like that answer. So like Point Pleasant-ish area if, if I had to pick somewhere. But no. Okay, it's cute, Point Pleasant. Chadwick. Chadwick, yes. Chadwick. Okay. But um, that, that's it. I'm not a beach, actual beach person at all. If you had one superpower, what would it be? If I could, um, like, teleport. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, I just, I'm very impatient. <laughs> so, like, if I'm at, like, my mom's house and I'm tired and I want to go mm -hmm. home, I want to just be, like. That's it? Yeah. Not for any other reason, but for just convenience. Laziness, yeah. inconvenience. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> like, I would even say flying, but after a while, I'd be like, I don't feel like flying. Over it. Right. Too much work. Just transport. Just make it easy. <laughs> What's the first thing you do each morning? Um, like, besides shower? Yeah. Shower, brush teeth, all that. The typical. Um, and I walk. I walk around like probably like a mile. Oh wow! Not like speed walk, help wise. Like I'll get dressed and Just get ready. Do a nice little walk. So I go to the library Stroll. every day because I don't really have an office. Okay. Um, so it's a far walk anyway. So I'll take like a very long way. Actually, I have a whole, whole routine. I have a very. I walk like a very long walk, and then I'll find somewhere I feel like having coffee or something. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not coffee, then I'm just whatever I'm in the mood for. And I, um, I try to read like two or three articles of something. That's great. In relation to what I feel like doing that okay. day. Okay. Um, I try to get all my social media out of the way so I don't feel the need to scratch the itch. Mm -hmm. And then whenever, I try to get to the library like 11. Okay. And then leave whenever I feel like I've accomplished a lot. It's a nice routine, I have to say. It's nice. It's very nice. Yeah. I try to get home, like sometimes I get home a little early and okay. like, you know when you're just depressed that it's like, it's, <laughs> like now it's a tough time here because it's light out and like yeah. you're home, you should be doing something. <laughs> like what am I going to do outside? Uh -huh. right so tough time of year for me. I like yeah. dark and cold, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, I just really? like being forced inside. Okay, interesting. The guilt of not being outside is more than I <laughs> want to deal with. What's one thing you cannot live without? The obvious answer is the phone. Duh, yeah. But I don't want, I, I'm trying you don't, to you like, don't want to do that. really trying to get away from it. I know. I get a lot, I use notebooks a lot. That's I right. love That's notebooks. Cool. Yeah, like I don't use notes on my phone. I, I use, wow. like, in my bag, in my bag there's probably five notebooks. That's like unheard of nowadays. But like for different. I love it. Can I back? Let's, let's see. I know this is really random. I'm showing you a lot, but no, this is fine. Let's so see like, Chris Manzo's notebook. This little, I can't open them for you because it's top secret. Of course, but of course. <laughs> I like this is like if I just have a random anything, any idea in the world, like you just jot like, it down. I just jot it down. Okay. And then oh, well, we got another one. I see yeah, a big one. Oh my I have, god. I have five in here, I think, or so. five. <laughs> And then I see lots so of so like this is these are my people. These are fancy ones. They're my people, place, and things notebooks. So if I oh. like I'll, every day, also in the morning, I'll create a fictional person, place, and thing. Interesting. It's just like it's a good like exercise. Kinda, I like that. Yes. Yeah. I don't show a lot of people this. You guys are lucky. I'm in a good mood. Whoa, lucky us. And then when I, <laughs> I'm nuts. <laughs> when I have my little notebook, as you can tell from the colors, blue and blue. Yes. When I have a little idea in my little notebook, I'll extend, I'll elaborate on the idea on my big the blue big notebook. big one, yeah. okay. And then, this is just random stuff. Like it's okay. Just for any other thought I might have. Like if I'm on the phone and I'm putting down notes for whatever we're talking about. That's okay. So you carry this around with you everywhere. I usually, well, every day I carry this around, but I, the little blue notebook I keep in my pocket all the time if I don't okay. have my bag on it. We're learning so much about you, Chris Manzo. Too much. You're so fascinating. I love it. I'm weird. <laughs> What's your favorite app on your phone? I mean, it would be anything social media-ish. Okay. I don't really use apps for like, let me go through my phone. Let's take a look. Let's see, it's on Chris Manzo's phone. I don't use a case. <laughs> no case? No. Nope. You, you know what else I do? I moved all my apps to the other side. Wait, what? So my homepage is like. That is like, so weird. No, you don't. Isn't it cool though? That's, 
So I've never seen anybody do that before. That's so interesting. So I, like I, I kind of like it. I have a picture there. Like I want to see the picture. I love. I love that. You know. You are so creative. Um. You know what I use a lot? Uh, the fancy. You ever hear the fancy? My brother oh. like kind of works with the people too, but it, they. He met them through our like love for the app, so it's okay. not like a promotion thing at all. I promise. We truly love it. Yeah, that's we like reached out to them because we love the oh, app wow. so much. What is it's it? cool. It's like a little, almost. So like it's just stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? So every day it's like a new little catalog of it things. It looks like Instagram. Yeah. It's okay. Like, it's like the same kind of way, but there's something about like, it's just it could be pencils for like two dollars or mm -hmm. a fifty thousand dollar Rolex. Okay. Like it's just. But just things that you won't find in a store. You know, like really cool. So I like, I'm a good gift giver. Oh. Well, fact, really good gift giver. What's the best gift you ever give? Uh, given? It depends on the person. Oh, Chris. Depends. <laughs> so, but I'll go on that and I'll uh -huh. be like, all right, I know this person likes this. I'll type in and there's something for that person, like no matter what. Very cool. Yeah, it's I'm gonna really, download this. The fancy school. I've never heard it's of like, it. It'll it'll end up costing you money because like you just buy so much stuff. But, oh well, but it's, it's cool. Fun. Like, I'm a, I'm like a notebook freak, so I type in like notebooks and all these cool notebooks. Awesome, the fancy. Fancy. Make I love sure you it. download it. Well, Chris, that was 21 questions. I made it. You made it. Thank you so much. Thank and make you. sure you go buy a copy of his brand new children's book, Oliver Brightside. Don't pick up that. You penny. don't want that. Ah! That you should have named your book, Don't Pick Up That Book. I should have. You should have. Come I on, Chris. <laughs> Go pick up a copy. It's fabulous. And Chris, thank you so much. Thank you.